We ask you to bless this service, Father God. Bless it to be all that you would have it to be. Father God, we ask right now you lift up each and every one that's under the sound of my voice. My, my, we bless those, Father my, God, who are yes. coming far and near. And, Father God, we pray that uh, <clears throat> should we have visitors you see something that would cause them to want to come back and serve, us, serve with us again, Father. We, Father, we come this morning just to lift up uh, <clears throat> our pastor and his family, continue to bless them, strengthen them, build them up on every leading side, Father. Touch Pastor Johnson, give him the wisdom and knowledge he needs to lead this, your church, Father God, in the direction you would have us to go. And, Father God, we pray right now for the preached word. Knowing your word is already blessed, but we pray, Father God, that you will reach out, touch hearts, touch minds. We know that your word would accomplish everything you, that, that you prepared for it for, Father God. We pray, Father God, that uh, if there's anyone here today that's under the sound of my voice that don't know you and the part of their sins, they will come down these aisles. Actually, what must they do to be saved? And, Father God, we ask right now, we're going to lift up the sick and the shut in. We realize, Father God, there are many. We know you, we're a God of love, a God of comfort, a God of healing. We know, Father God, there's nothing that we have that you can't fix. Father yes. God, we pray you touch each one of those on the sick and the shutting list. Bless them, heal them, strengthen them, on, build them up again on every leaning side. Bless the bereaved families, Father God. Touch them, Father God. Give them the comfort that they need. And, Father God, we realize that there's a lot of turmoil in this world. But we know, Father God, that you're in control. No matter what's going on, Father God, you're in control. We realize these things don't come upon us to tear us down, but it's to build us up and make us stronger, Father God. For we know, Father God, that, 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 that you will bring us through it. Whatever you bring us to, you will yes. bring us through it. And we just yes. thank you for that, Father God. Yes. Again, Father God, we just ask you to, 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 to bless all, Father God. We pray, Father God, that, that you would touch hearts, touch minds, Father God. We, we know, Father God, that that uh, in you, Father God, you have everything we need. Yes. And, Father God, we all continue to lean and depend on you, for, Father, for we know that, that you said that you would never leave us nor forsake us. And we're standing on your, your precious word. And, Father God, again, we just pray for this service. We pray that it will be all you have to be. We pray, Father God, you, you bless those coming in and going out. We, Father God, we pray that, that uh, what we do here is pleasing in your sight. And, Father God, when uh, it's all said and done, Father God, we will all be willing and waiting to hear you say, well done, our good and faithful servant. Oh, yes. If you're faithful over a few things, I'll make you rule over many. I pray that the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart is acceptable in your sight. Oh, Lord, you are our strength. You are our redeemer. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that I pray this prayer and I ask you all. Amen. 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 And thank God. Come on and put your hands together for Jesus if you love the Lord this morning. I didn't ask you to put your hands together for me. Put your hands together for the King of Kings, the Lord of Lord. We thank you in the name of Jesus. He's worthy. I don't know about you, but I came to bless and magnify the name of the Lord on today. And the words of this song simply says, praise him, praise him. Jesus, blessed Savior, you're worthy to be praised. It's a song that all of us know, and I'm going to ask that everyone will stand to their feet. As we go before the throne of grace and worship. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Everybody praise him. Lift your voice and praise him. Praise him. Lift your hands and praise him. Praise him. Oh, oh, oh. Praise his name is Jesus. Jesus. Blessed, Savior. Blessed Savior. He's so worthy. He's worthy. Come on, lift your hands all over the building. Oh, 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 oh. Everybody praise him. praise him. You should have been dead in your grave. But God told them to be hey. From the rising of the sun, the rising of the sun, unto the going down, 
Jesus. Lord, you're worthy. Jesus, you're so worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Praise him. In the morning, I'm going to praise him. In the noonday, I'm going to praise him. All day long. Jesus. Blessed Savior. He's so worthy. Hallelujah. God is my rock. God is my rock. Rock of the salvation. You know what? He's a strong, strong deliverer. And him with him. Praise him. You got a right to praise him. You got a right to thank him. Oh, praise the Lord. Jesus, bless his Savior. He's all From the rising of the sun. To the going down, going down of the same. Oh, he's worthy. Gee, gee, he's so worthy. Yeah, praise, praise him in the morning. Right now where I stand, I'm going to give you all the praise. Blessed Savior, he's so worthy, worthy to be praised. Put your hands together and give. Give, give the Lord some praise. He's worthy. He's worthy. Should have cut you off, but he spared your life. Praise him, everybody. Praise him, everybody. Shout out to God with the voice of triumph. Let his praise be made known. I would just try to do a temperature check to see where everybody at I don't know about you but we could have been dead on a cooling board this morning but you got breaths in your body activities of your limb you was able to wash your face brush your teeth you need to give God praise come on every morning Come on, put your hands together. We come to glorify his name. We come to glory. Put your hands together. Five. We come to glory. Everybody go. Whoa, we come to glory. Glorify his name. We come to glory. Glorify his name. We come to glory. We go to glory. Oh, bless that wonderful name. Jesus, come on and bless that wonderful name. I got name of Jesus. I come on and bless that wonderful name. the name of Jesus. No other name I know. Oh, there is power in the name. Jesus, so much power in the name of Jesus. So much 
power in the name of Jesus. No other. I get joy when I think about it. What is done for me? I get joy when I think about it. Put your hands together. Me? I get joy when I think about it. What is done for me? I get joy when I think about it. Oh, what is done for me? I get happy oh, when I think about it. What is done for me? I get happy when I think about it. What is done for me? I get happy when I think. What is that for me? I get happy when I think. Oh, and that's what he's done. That's what he's done. And that's what he's done. That's what he's done. And that's what he's done. That's what he's done. And that's what he's done. That's what he's done. He woke you up. That's what he's done. Early this morning. That's what he's done. Hold you. That's what he's done. Hold you in your right mind. That's what he's done. Put food on the table. That's what he's done. How many know he's able? That's what he's done. That's what he's done. That's what he's done. And that's what he's done. That's what he's done. Heal your body. Heal your body. Heal your body. Heal your power. He saved my soul from a burning hell. From a burning hell. That's what he's done. Hey, that's what he's done. That's what he's done. Oh, that's what he's done. On a solid ground. That's what it's done. That's what it's done. That's hey. what it's done. That's 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 what it's
and you think about what he's done for you, something on the inside ought to get you turning. When you start thinking about what the Lord has done for you, I don't know how you can sit down. It's when you want to sit down and you start thinking about how he woke you up this morning and started you on your way. When you think about it, when you were hungry this morning and you went to the refrigerator and the refrigerator was full this morning, you was able to eat whatever your heart desired. And then when you got ready to go to the church house, you went to a closet and put on whatever you wanted. And then when you got to the garage, you had a car with a full gas tank. Something on the inside ought to make you praise the Lord. Why, Pastor? Because there's somebody who wish they was in your position. Now come on, put your hands together and bless God. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's something, it's something. I'm, I'm, I'm in the right church this morning. I, I came to the right house this morning. Because I feel like I got some grateful people. That when you woke up this morning, you had a praise on your lips. When you woke up this morning, you had something to thank God for. Is there anybody here? Well, I tell you what, let's see a sign. How about you wave your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care? I wanted to hear something. I wanted to hear if the, if the music was driving them to praise. And so this is what I, I, I want to see. Because if you don't have a Hammond B3 or some drums or a bass, when you at home and you don't have no musicians, there ought to be some type of praise. That, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The Bible says, let the redeem of the Lord say so. Phew. That's what I <laughs> thank you, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. We always got time to pause for praise. We always got time to bless his name. We always got time to give him his just due. Because he's been good to us. My mama would say it like this: He's been better to that to me than I am to myself. Lord have mercy. I gotta That's it. Hallelujah. You may be seated in, if you can in the presence of the Lord. When I begin to think about what he's done, but then can I take it a step further? What he's doing right now. Mm. Not just about what he's done, but what he's doing. And see, here's the thing, when you can bless God for a halfway completed miracle and for a halfway completed blessing, that's when it determines where your faith is. 
because they taught us you don't wait till the battle is over. You shout right now in the midst of it. Here it is. I got Bible to back me up. That there was Jehoshaphat who had three different armies coming against him. Jehoshaphat, this battle, you, you, won't, you won't fight on your own. But what I want you to do is praise me. And when the Bible says when Jehoshaphat led the people in praise, that they saw the Lord set ambushments. And that the three armies began to fight against each other and cancel themselves out. I came with a direct download today that there are some enemies that are coming against you right now. But here it is. The Lord told me to tell you this battle you won't win on your own might. But it's when you lift up your hands. Oh, bah, 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 bah. It's a battle when you lift your hands and bless the name of the Lord. Because your praise going to win. to this morning but I came to tell you that your praise gonna win this battle this battle you can't do it off your own but it's gonna be your hands are lifted your mouth filled with praise that's what's gonna win this battle yeah 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 that's what's gonna win this battle brother Karuf that's what's gonna win this battle That's what's going to win this battle. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. Oh, that's what's, what's going to win this battle. It's what you praise. I know it's hard sometimes to say thank you, Lord, in the midst of if you could just lift your hands. Matter of fact, Brother Karu, I'm going to praise God with you. I'm going to praise God for you because I know it's heavy on your shoulders. But I'm going to take this round. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the healing. Oh, Baba. Thank you, Lord. For the healing. Thank you, Lord. For the breakthrough. Thank you, Lord. Who else need me to stand in a gap for you? Because you have it. I got your round. Thank you, Lord. For the marriage is being healed. Thank you, Lord. For new doors being opened. Thank you, Lord. For keeping our children safe. I got this round. Thank you, Lord. I'm trying to behave. I'm trying to behave. I'm trying to behave. But I want to teach you that praise helps you get a breakthrough. I need you to understand, and I'm going to take this a few more minutes. I need you to understand something. That praise is a weapon. Praise is a weapon. And so when you were in the battle... Choose the weapon. Just go. <laughs> Shalee, I just. <laughs> go. Go Muppet Babies. That's, that's the inside between me and Shalia. You know, you ever seen the Muppet Babies when they go crazy and get to rocking? And they just lose their mind. Every now and then, you got to go into a praise that's just unexplainable. I'm going to give you biblical. You got to go into a David praise. You got to get undignified with your praise. And every now and then, you just got to go for what you know. And in this season of your life, God is saying, I need some radical praisers. Some radical praisers that can praise in the midst of a dead situation. But your praise can bring some things to life. All right. Yeah, we'll continue with our worship. Worship through our giving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the Lord loves a chill forgiver. He don't want nobody giving that's grudgingly. You feel like you're being robbed and it's a stick up. (laughs) 
God say, I want to cheer for giving. To the point you, you throw your money because you say, I got to give it back to him. So we can tell you our worship through our giving. The Bible says, I, I believe somewhere it says, freely give, freely receive. It's more blessed. They taught me it's more blessed to give than to receive. But then I was taught the more you give to him, the more he's obligated to give back to you. And so I want to teach, I want to make sure that we are, we are a church, a body who is always ready to give because we know the blessing in giving. We know the, the mandate of giving. But then we know the protection through our giving. Because <laughs> I rebuked it of our, for your sake. And so come on, our, our, our deacons, if you uh, give you time, I know you have our Givelifies, Macedonia Baptist Church, Sacramento. That's our Givelifies. That's how you can give online. Uh, and I know some of us, we like to give old school cash money. Hey, I told you on last Sunday, if you want a Western Union, if you want to, uh, if you want to, whatever, however you want to give it, give it. <laughs> Hello, somebody. And so, and so, um. See, don't even do that, because now you're going to make <laughs> And so, and so if, you, if you need an envelope, our usher is, 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 is down uh, to give you an envelope. Just raise your hand, and she will pass you some. Now, I know last Sunday we talked about our sacrificial offering, and y'all, I'm, I'm excited about how y'all are responding to it. Um, hey, yeah, say amen. 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 And, so, um, and so for some of us who want to give today on your envelope what you can post, what you can write on your envelope is um, write sacrificial giving in the slot. If you want to give your sacrificial offering in the, in the envelope, write sacrificial offering, and we'll see to it that it goes straight to your, to your sacrificial offering, all right? I am asking each, each member to sacrifice uh, $400 in increments of $100 from April to May to June, July. Amen. The goal is to raise uh, $40,000 plus. Come on, we can do it. We, that's, that's what I'm talking It's already done. It, it, it's already done. And so, and so I told you on last week, and I'll continue to say it again, and that it is going to the upgrading of the house of God. Yeah, amen. It, it, it's going straight to the house um, for sound, for, for instruments, for, um, for, um, for bathrooms, for signage. We, we, we finna... We finna um, we finna upgrade the house, amen, amen. But here it is, what I want to challenge you in your giving is that here it is, because I know sometimes pastor, people say, well, pastor, where's it going to come from? It's going to come from you. Yeah. Well, but pastor, I got this. I said, but here it is, when you want to avail yourself to give, God will bless you. Yeah. That when you have a desire to give, God will make it and open up some doors that you can give. I wish I had somebody to help me here. And so here it is. I told you, and I'm going to continue to tell you, don't give where you're at, but give where you're trying to go. Because here it is, I'm trying to tell you something about the law. See, we listen to all of these, 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 these different people for finance, uh, finance wisdom, and that's good. But here it is, if you read your word, because I'm going to tell you something about Dave Ramsey. His principles are strictly off the Bible. He took the biblical principles and built a... <laughs> oh, Lord, have off of biblical principles. And so here's what I want to tell you. If you can just do what the Bible says, you won't have to rob Peter to pay Paul. I, I'm giving some financial advice this morning. I hope you catch this. If you be faithful over a little bit, God will bless you with more than enough. But here is a question that God has for some of y'all. Can you be faithful over it? Don't hold it, but be faithful to it. And then catch this, because he see you giving and keep giving, this is what he going to do. He going to see to it that you always have more to give. Lord, have mercy. All right, I think if, if, you, got, if you have some, uh, if you have uh, envelopes, just wave them, just, just hold them up if you have your envelopes, and our deacons will, co will come serve you. Hey, Amen. We are, we are still in, 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 in COVID protocol. Um, Y'all pray for me. And as your pastor, I, I'm not one to, to, to not ask for prayer. We have a good problem. 
it's a problem, but it's a good problem. Registration on last week closed in 45 minutes. Registration for this week closed in 15 minutes. Say we got a good problem that people are running into the house of God wanting to get a word. So y'all pray for me so that I may use wisdom of how we do uh, church uh, going forward. Amen. Amen. Y'all keep me in prayer because God is, is doing a wonderful thing here. He's doing a wonderful thing. And I always want to make sure I'm in a place where I hear him and obey him. Yeah, hear him and obey him. Hallelujah. All right, let's stand on our feet. Oh, press down, shake over my blessing running. Come on, just clap your hands right. Oh, yeah, press down, shaking together, running over my blessing running. Oh, say press down, press down, shaking together, running over my blessing run. When you give, when you give unto the Lord, He will give you more. So cheerfully now bring your offering and your Blessed, run it over. Father, we thank you for this offering. And God, we pray that you would use it where you see fit in the kingdom. Now, God, I pray for every giver of the seed to turn it back to them 30 fold, 60 fold, even 100 fold. And then, God, I pray for the one who had a desire to give but had it not, that you would bless them with seed this so at a later in time. It's in Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated, praise of God. We, we have some very special guests that we flew in. <laughs> that we flew in. We're, we're grateful that our budget was able, we was able to meet it. And, and, and fly in some, 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 some guests, amen? And so today, before the preach word, uh, the Macedonian men are going to bless us. I said men. I said men. They're going to bless us. And, and they bless us and set the atmosphere for a word, amen? Let's receive them as they come. Come on, let's bless them. Amen. We're trying to decide which, what to do, so uh, we'll just give you just a piece of both of them. So, uh, and Pastor, be prepared to tag this one to this first one. Uh, one of the most important things that God wants us to do is just to stay in His will. Yes. Not our will, but Thy will be done. Come on, Anthony. We'll just do a piece of this one, and then we'll give you something else that you can kind of identify with. Sing, Anthony! I'm holding on 
Till the end, I will be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in you, Lord. Listen, the angels, hey, 
will be singing. Oh, yes, they will. Yes, sir. I know the joy bell. They will be ringing. Ooh, I say now, who oh, won't it? Won't it be wonderful over there? Oh, over there. Come on, fellas. I need you to help me. Come on, y'all. Now, now, now. Won't, won't it? Who won't it be? Be wonderful. I know what you're talking about. Uh, when, when I, when I get, get over there. Yeah. I say now. Won't it? Who won't it be? Be wonderful. I'm talking about. When I, when I get over there. I know the angels gonna be singing. The, the angels, angels will be singing. Will be singing. Hey! Yeah, I, I know, know the joy bell will be ringing. Will be ringing. Who won't it be? Oh, won't it? Who won't it be? Be wonderful over there. Over there. Yes, it will. Over yeah. there. Yeah. I said now. Won't it? Who won't it be? Be wonderful. Does anybody know? When I, when I get over there, yeah, I said now, won't it, won't it be, be wonderful, does anybody know, when I, when I get over there, get what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit down, come on, I'm going to sit down, sit down right there, by the bank, Woo! look up and give, give the Lord some humble thing, some humble thing, won't it be, won't it, Talking about how when I, when I get over there, I'm gonna sit down, Jerry. I'm gonna sit down, sit down right there by the bank. Woo! Good Lord, and give, give the Lord some humble thanks. Some humble thanks. Who won't it be? Oh, won't it? Who won't it be? Be wonderful. Who won't it be? Yeah. Oh, won't it? Who won't it be? Be wonderful. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Oh, here? Won't it? Friends and my love. Oh, won't it? Won't it be? Be wonderful. Won't it be? Oh, won't it be? wonderful. Won't it be? Oh, won't it? Won't it be? Be wonderful. Oh, won't it? Be wonderful. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, won't it? Won't it be? Be wonderful. I got a mother over there. Oh,
Won't it be wonderful over there? Won't it be wonderful over there? Bless y'all, sirs. Can we just thank God for, our, for the men? I gotta be I gotta be honest and transparent that I'm I'm standing today with a little heavy heart. Um, when I was nine years old, uh, people thought I was crazy when I said I was called to the ministry, and and it was Pastor Walter F. Houston who defended me, and who 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 trained me um, until I left uh, Houston at 20. And so I'm a little heart, my heart is heavy because when yesterday we, uh, my family in Houston and I was online, we sent them home to glory. Uh, well, we, we, he was already home, but we just had a celebration. And so it, my heart is a little heavy and my, my wife been checking on me all day because sometimes I mask, but I'm being transparent because when you think about if it wasn't for him, I don't know where I'd be. And so uh, I'm, I'm just grateful, uh, grateful for that. Let's get into the word of God. I believe there is a word for you, a word for all of us. I like that first song that the men sang. And I, and I think, I, I think I'm going a, I'm to a adopt that one. Because that's my testimony. Sometimes even when you, you can't see your way through. You just got to stand in his will. Your Because, Lord, I'm standing in your will. Oh. I'm standing in your will, your will. I do, I got you. Oh, oh Lord. I'm stand, standing in your, your will, yeah. your will. Because, Lord, I'm standing. Even when it gets hard, oh Lord, I'm gonna say, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 even with tears in my eyes, I'm gonna say, in your will, in your will, oh, even when. Lord, I'm standing in, in your. Is there anybody's testimony today? You don't know what the outcome gonna be, but you just gonna, you just gonna stand in His will. I don't know what tomorrow gonna look like, but I'm just gonna stand in His will. I don't know where the money gonna come from. But I'm just going to stand in his will. I know what the doctors say, but I'm just going to stand in your will. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm just going to stand in his will. Father, we come now because it is preaching time. And Lord, I need your power. I need your power. Because it is your power I stand in. And so now, God, I pray you will sit the self and selfishness down in me. 
And Lord, you will rise. Speak a word to and through me as your living and willing vessel. God, touch now. Bless your preached word. Bless your people that shall hear this word. God, give them ears to hear, heart to receive, and the mind to do. And it's in Jesus' name we do pray. Let us all say together, amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Listen, to all of our, all of our, 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 our guests that are online, that are watching online, that are joining us, we thank God for you this morning, that you would join in with us. Out of all the churches all over America, you decided to click your button on Macedonia Baptist Church of Sacramento. Listen, I pray today that you will get a word from God, get a direct download, and your spirit will be lifted. And so I pray to that end that you will be blessed today. And that I pray that as soon, real soon, we'll all be able to worship together. And to all of those who are watching from near and far, we thank God for you. And we pray the same prayer that we pray that you will be blessed as well. And so we thank God for you. Come on, can we thank God for all of our, all of our people and all of our members in the virtual sanctuary? And to all of you, there may be some people here who are first-time guests, who are second-time guests. I just want to let you know you're welcome. I'm glad you decided to peruse on over uh, to this side of the water. Now, here's what I want to let you know. I believe this is the best church this side of heaven. Amen. And I argue with the best of them. And so I'm excited. Listen, let's get into the word of God, y'all. Let's go to St. John chapter 2. We're continuing in our, in our series, Allow Me to Reintroduce Myself. This is week three of our series. We're diving deeper into Jesus and diving deeper into his ministry. So let's go to St. John chapter 2, verse 1. Y'all go with me because the Lord has revealed something to me through this text today. And so we're going to do our best to give you what the Lord has given me. Y'all got it? All right. It reads this this. Chapter, uh, chapter 2, we're going to read, start our, our reading at verse 1. It says this, uh, reading from the New Living Translation of the Bible. The next day there was a wedding celebration in the village of Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. And Jesus and his disciples was also invited into the celebration. The wine supply ran out during the festivities. And so Jesus' mother told him, they have no more wine. Verse 4 says, dear woman, that's not our problem, Jesus replied. My time has not yet come. But the mother, uh, Mary, told the servants, do whatever he tells you. Standing nearby were six stone water jars used for Jewish ceremonial washing. Each could hold 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told the servants, fill the jars with water. When the jars had been filled, he said, now dip some out. Now, hold on, y'all. It came in water. And then he says, now dip some out and take it to the master of ceremonies. So the servants followed instructions. When the master of ceremonies tasted the water, that was now wine. Not knowing where it had come from, though, of course, the servants knew. He called the bridegroom over. A host always serves the best wine first, he said. Then when everyone had a lot to drink. I'm going to bring it to the term. When everybody feel <laughs> a little drunk, a little tipsy, he brings out the less expensive wine. But you have kept the best until now. Verse 11 says, this miraculous sign at Canaan, Galilee, was the first time Jesus revealed his glory and his disciples believed in him. Well, I want to uh, give you this, this, this title for this, this week three series. I want to talk about the plug. That's what I want to talk about. You may be seated. For those in our virtual sanctuary, just, just type that in the chat, the plug. I'm going to do my best with the help of the Lord. The plug. That's what I want to talk about, the plug. Now, when I look at the, 
how can I say this, the, the ethnic definition of a plug. Because some of us, when you say the plug, they'll think about the plug that goes in, into the wall. I'm not, I'm not talking about... I'm, I'm not talking about that plug. Um, the, uh, a plug is a person who has the ability to get or supply hard to find items. I'm going to say it again. A plug or the plug is a person who has the ability to get or supply hard to find items. That's what a plug is. It's, I give you some the background of your pastor. Uh, your pastor has a problem, not a drinking problem, not a, not a smoking problem, not a drug problem, but I got a problem. My problem is, Deacon Mac, is that I like to buy shoes. That's, that's one of the reasons why I wore my shoes because uh, I sometimes, and this is, this is terrible, but I got to, you know, they say confession is good for the soul, uh, that sometimes I had to, to hide my sneakers into the house and, and, and put them on the shelf. And then when I would get ready to wear them and my wife said, well, when'd you get those? I've been had these. <laughs> and she looks at me and, and she said, <laughs> I said, I've been, I been had these. I, it's my first time. Yeah, but I, I waited a while to, for them to, to just get molded into the closet. But, but here is the thing about me. I have a plug. A shoe plug. Let me think. Because the shoes that I want. Oh, God. They cost a little bit much. And they're hard to find at times. And so instead of me waiting in the line, fighting with people, and maybe not having a chance to get them, I called my plug about two weeks in advance. And this is how the text message go. I send him a picture of the ones I want. I don't have to tell my size no more. He know my size. And if anybody who feel, who get... Who the Lord want to bless you? You want to bless me because the Lord say, let me bless my pastor with some shoes. I wear a size 13, <laughs> if, if you was wondering. And so, and so I'll send him, i say, can you get these? And he'll tell me, yeah, I got you. And most of the time, my plug gets them before they come out. So while everybody's waiting for the release, I already got them. Because my plug is somebody who has access to hard items that you cannot find on a regular daily basis. Oh, do you see where I'm going with this? That that's in the natural social that be in the spiritual realm. That I want you to see that Jesus in this series is more, I've been telling you for the last two weeks, more than the baby born of a virgin, more than the one who died and was raised on the third day. He's much more than that. And here it is. I want to introduce you to Jesus the plug. Because he has access to hard items. Can I get into the text? Text says it like this, that they're at the wedding in Cana of Galilee, and in these times, weddings lasted seven days. Seven days. Celebrating. Celebrating. I was like, woo, seven days. <laughs> seven days of, of festivities. And here it is, they're supposed to have seven days of supply of wine. But on day three, something happened, Sister Kenzie. Now, 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 supposed to be seven days. But on day three, the supply of the wine runs out. And so here it is. 
And I want y'all to see this something today. And I want to break this thing down to you. Because what the Lord allowed me to see in my quiet time was that he allowed me to see the different perspectives and the different players in this story. And so here it is what I want you to see because y'all, I've never, I've never preached the, this, this particular passage of scripture. Or, and so here it is, the Lord allowed me to see some things from different perspectives. And so here it is, what I want to do is I want to let you eavesdrop in on a conversation that me and, had, me and God had while I was studying. Here it is, I want you to see that there is Jesus, there's Mary, there's disciples, and then there's the servants. And the Bible tells us that now as, 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 as the wedding is going on and the wine is gone, Mary does something. Mary gets from where she is and goes to Jesus and say, we out of wine. Now, Jesus' reply, if I could be, be frank. What they got to do with me? I'm a guest of the wedding just like you. Me and my boy, we just came to see what y'all do. And now you're coming to me and saying that we, that y'all are out of wine. Here it is, but what Jesus says, and I want to teach this, he says, he says something that if you look at the book of John, he says as often, he says, my time has not yet come. Now, here it is. I have said, okay, God, you got to give me some, some you know, going to help me a little bit. Why is he saying my time has not yet come? Because he's saying I am the Messiah. I came to die. And my time to be revealed of who I really am is not time yet. It's too early for people to see the full glory. But here it is what I want to help you with something. Can I help you with something? This, this is what Mary does. She heard what he said. Oh, God. Jesus said, it's not my time yet. What they got to do with me? But Mary says to the servants, whatever he say do, do it. Y'all ready for your empowerment keys? Y'all got your notes? Here it is, the first empowerment key I wanted to give you today is you have to get the source. Get tapped into the source. Jesus asks her when, she, when, 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 she, when he tells her, when she tells him that we're out of supply, Jesus says, what that has to do with me? My reply is, it has everything to do with you because she knows who the source is. Mary goes to Jesus and says, we are out of wine. Why? It's because I know that you can do anything. Let's get comfortable let's, and let's get into this word. Here it is. I want you to understand something that what, what Mary is revealing to us is that Jesus has unlimited supply. I'm going to say it again. I want you to hold on. Jesus has unlimited supply. Let's, let's, let's imagine. It's almost like going into an empty warehouse. I ain't going to say empty. A warehouse. And every warehouse, and in this warehouse, everything that you need is in the warehouse. Jesus is the one controlling the warehouse. And he's at the front desk. And he say, how may I help you? And so here it is. What I want to let you know is that your first call shouldn't be mama when you run out. Your first call shouldn't be daddy when you run out. Your, your first call shouldn't be your spouse when you're in need. But your first call should be to Jesus Christ. Why, Pastor? Because he has an unlimited supply. So what I want to let you know is that when you're on empty, you need to know who to go to. When my car is on E, I go to the gas station. Lord have mercy here. When, when my food, when I'm on empty in the cupboard, here it is, I go to Walmart. But when my peace is disturbed, I go to Jesus. Jesus. 
Can I help somebody? When my joy is at the end, I go to Jesus because Jesus has unlimited supply. And what I want to get you to know is that you need to know who to call on when things get shaky in your life. She, she goes straight to Jesus. Because she understands my son has the power to do anything. And so I'm going to my son. Jesus says, what does that have to do with me? But she knows, listen, I know what you're about to do. Here it is. Oh, man, Holy Spirit. Okay, let's do that. Here it is, the reason why some of us are not calling on him is because we don't have trust fully in him. Let, let me heal some things in some of us. The reason why you have trust issues is because you've given trust to people who've betrayed you. You've given trust to people who've misused you. You've given mistrust to pe- you've given your trust to people who took your kindness as weakness. And now when you have a God who is meek and lowly, you have a God who's a gentleman. You have a God who loves you. You have a God who cares for you. When he says cast your cares, you can't cast them because your trust has been destroyed. And so here it is. Here it is, Mary is teaching us a valuable lesson that when I'm at the end, I need to go back to the source of it all. And so, ooh, and so here it is, you're not really at the end. You're at the end of what you got. So I hope somebody catch that. See, 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 you at the end of what you have, but you're not really at the end because you can go back and say, re-up me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Can I make it? Joe, Joe, can I go there? I know some of y'all, oh, whoo, I'm going to turn my back. There's some of us that have the re-up man. You got some people when, when you little low and you need a little pick-me-up, that little, that little sticky icky, that little green stuff, you go to... You go to the you go to the re-up man. But here is what I want to let you know. Jesus is the re-up man. Whenever you need something and you at the end, go to the re-up man. No. When I came to church today, I came to get a re-up. I, I came first lady because my, my shoulders was a little was a little down. I came to get a re-up. Is there anybody here that came to the block today? I came to get a re-up. A re-up of your strength. Because it's been a hard week for some of us. And I don't feel like going on. I came to get a re-up. Well, here it is. I came with a download from Jesus. That he said, whatever you need, call on my name. Let's just do this. To check the temperature. Let's just do this. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. You know, when I was in trouble, when I hurt myself, mama knew how to decipher my choir. Some cries was just, he just, he just hollering my name. But then there were some cries when I said, Mama, the right way, she ran to me. Because Mama knew I was in need. Let's do this one more time. Because Jesus says, at the name of Jesus. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. So I'm going to ask you one more time. Somebody say, Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that name is no other name. At the name of Jesus, demons tremble. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. Now that I know you know the name, I need you to use the name. Call on his name. His line is never too busy. Oh, God. All right. All right. All right. 
All right. I need, I need to make sure that the people I shepherd know the source of your power. Because there are some times when you're going to call your pastor and, you can, and I ain't going to answer. But I want to let you know at 2 a.m. in the morning, there's somebody who's always open. <laughs> it's called the emergency hotline. So when you can't call pastor, when you can't call first lady, when you can't call the prayer warriors, I want you to call the emergency hotline. And since I know you know his name, know when to use it. Lord, have mercy. So, so, so can I go a little bit deeper? Because we got some more heavy lifting to do. So here it is. We understand Mary teaches us. She teaches us the source. She teaches us to plug. But then hear what she does, Deacon Mac. She goes to the service and says this. She says, do it. So here it is. Why would Mary warn them to say whatever he says do, do it? Because she knows what his instructions are going to be foreign to them. And his instructions won't make sense to you. So here is what I want to give you. Warning. I just want you to just obey what he says. And so here it is. Mary is teaching us. Not only is she talking to the servants, but she's talking to these servants in 2021. That whatever he tells you to do, do it. Crazy instructions plus blind obedience equals unexplainable miracles. I want you to write that down. That's number two. I want you to write that down. I want you to hold that too. I want to hold that. I'm going to say it again. Crazy instructions plus blind obedience equals unexplainable miracles. I'm going to say it again. Crazy instructions plus blind obedience equals unexplainable miracles. Let me make this thing live for you. She says to him, she says to them, whatever he says do, do it. Jesus says, take these six jars and I want you to fill them up with water. Here it is, Deacon Mac, what I love. They never ask the question why. Nor do they ask a question of what you're going to do with it. They just said, they didn't say anything. They just did it. Come here, first lady. Take that. Hold that. Now, that's your last 20. That's your last 20 to hold you to the 15. You got gas, you need, you, need, you need some gas tank. That's your gas money. That's all you got left. That's all you got left, right? But Jesus says, go bless somebody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I told y'all it's in the crazy instructions. Jesus says, go bless, hold on, stay right here, go bless that in the gray, sitting next to the lady in pink, go bless her. Now, God, but then Jesus says, go bless. I have nothing left, but Jesus says, Go bless. Now, Kenny, this ain't your last. So what I want you to do is go bless First Lady because she was at her last. I'm, 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 this, I'm God. So now, that 20, hold on, I ain't done yet. That 20 that you thought was your last is not your last. Go bless 
go bless Allison. Right there, sits next to Claire Carew. Go bless her. Now that's, she had a last. She gave it. He gave her another replenish. He gave, now she had nothing left. Now Joseph, come here first lady. No, stay there. Now she goes back. She gave it out of obedience. Now Joseph, he has a, a plentiful and an abundance. Joseph, drop it on him. Now Joseph got a stack. Come here. Come here. Now she gave 20. He gave it back to her. She gave another 20. He gave it back to her. But the 20, 40, 60 is out of obedience. God Almighty. I gave her what she gave. But this is out of obedience. Because what I want you to know something, that it's your obedience that's going to give you unexplainable miracles. I need you to catch this. And I'm going to do my best, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the rest. But I need you to catch this, that God is saying to us today that I'm going to give you crazy instructions in the next season of your life and these instructions won't make sense but I need you to obey me because out of my obedience that miracles is going to happen I know it don't sound right but just obey me oh I wish I had Can I, hold on hold on hold on because I got to teach this I got to teach this because here it is here it is here it is He needs us to be obedient. See, here it is. Livy is my child. And I tell her, as long as you do what I say, I'll always bless you. My oldest daughter just got her license on Friday. But in order to get the license... I need all A's and B's. In order to get the license, I don't need no talk back. In order to get the license, I need you to be an example for your two younger sisters. We, we rolled out the expectations of what it was to get the license. And out of her obedience, she got the license. I told her, just wait till the summertime, you'll get the car. Because out of obedience, you'll be blessed. Make it live for you. After having Livy, high blood pressure, preeclampsia. First ladies, I see you for over four days. I go to the chapel on a Friday, leaving her in the hospital. And I say, God, I do anything you tell me to do if you just get up out of here. God speaks to me in a very audible voice. This ain't got nothing to do with you. (laughs) There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can say that will get her out of here. This is between me and her. On Saturday, I said, look, do what God told me. It's all I got between you and him. On Sunday, I went to visit in the morning. I'm going home. Doc said, I'm going to give you one more day. He's going to let you go on Monday. She calls me within 30 minutes and said, hey, they released me. I said, whoa. Hey. I said, whoa. Hey. Catch this. She gets in the car. She says, I couldn't tell you because you would have been probably fought me. But you left me with some instruction that this was between me and God. And so I'm walking, I signed myself out, and I'm walking out on faith. And I'm going to trust God to do this. That was eight years ago. 
going on nine. Every time she go to the doctor, blood pressure is great. Blood pressure is great because it's out of obedience that God will bless you and give you unexplainable miracles. Here it is. I'm going to help somebody. The Lord is telling you to walk. And you're not walking yet. Because you wait on him to show you everything before you walk. But here it is. The Lord say your miracle is in the walk. And as long as you stay there, your miracle will stay over there. In other words, your miracle is being held hostage because you won't be obedient. And so here it is. The Lord is telling me, if you just do what I tell you to, your miracle will be unleashed into your life. Lord, have mercy. So here it is. I'm almost done. He says, dip the cup. Now, mind you, she said, whatever he said, do, do it. She say, he says, dip the cup. And here's the thing. Give it to him. Now, the servants saw water when they put it in there. They saw water when they gave it to him. But something happened from the time he dipped it. And when it got to his mouth, <laughs> Moscato. <laughs> Stella Rose, I'm going to help somebody. I know some, <laughs> I'm going to help somebody. But here's the thing. Here's the blessing. Deacon Evans, the blessing is that it wasn't just wine. I love it when people talk back to me. He said, it's something about this wine. He brings the bridegroom over and says, hey, something happened. You're supposed to put the best stuff out in the beginning. And then when everybody gets full of the spirit, you put the, the cheap wine. Tell the difference because they already gone. But this wine, you've been holding on because this is the best wine. Lord have mercy. This wine is the wine that you let sit a while firmament. This is the wine that's been there for, for 100 years. This that 1942. This, this, this that good, in other words, this is the top shelf. And this is the best I ever had. Here it is, point three. Expect only the best. Here it is. Now, now, I'm going to do something. Don't y'all go too far. Come right back. You know when you went to the plug for a certain substance and you came home and he gave you and he gave you some, some not good stuff. When you go back, you say, now look, that stuff you gave me last time, I don't want that. I want you to give me the best. Here it is. Catch this, y'all. I need you to understand something that Jesus says in this season. I need you to upgrade your expectations. In this season, I need you to upgrade your expectations of me. Because what happened is you are so used to getting the bottom stuff. And every time you come up to me, the plug, you always going to get the best. And so what Jesus is, is changing the mentality of the people that when I touch something, it's always the best. When I give you something, it's always the best. That's why I, ever, I always tell people, never get concerned about when he takes away something, give you the best. 
And so here it is when it comes to Jesus. Always expect the best. And so here it is. He says to them, he says, this is the best. The best wine I've ever tasted. This is the stuff. That make you shake a little bit. And when you taste it, ah, that's good. That's the good stuff. But here it is. Here it is. He says to them, this is the best. But then verse 11 says, this miracle was the first miracle of Jesus revealing his glory. I told y'all it's the major players. We heard from Mary. We've seen the servants. And we got the disciples. The disciples are watching this all take place. That the man we just started walking with. The man that just recruited us on the team. He just turned some H2O into some the best wine we've ever tasted. What is this? But then the Bible says they believed in him. So here it is, my last empowerment key, and I'm going to get out of here and let you go home. As I won't let you know something, that miracles don't just happen to you but also for you. Miracles don't just happen to you, but for you. Make it plain, Pastor, so we can get this thing going home. I need you to understand something. That seeing Jesus do this miracle produced something in them. Because it said they believed. So seeing God do miracles produces faith. But seeing God turn water into wine produces radical faith. So here it is as I close up this word of God today and put the pen right here. I want you to understand something that the next miracle that he performs in your life is going to produce radical faith and what's going to happen is is that you'll stop believing him for him to heal somebody but you'll believe him to raise somebody from the dead. Here it is, and I'm gone, and I must leave you, that the next miracle is going to change how your faith is. Here it is. I need you to understand that when you leave here today, I need you to stop believing God for the little things, the minor things, but I need you to start believing God for the major things. And here it is. The reason why you're going to always see a miracle is because I want to produce a great faith in you. What you cannot do is for great faith. And here it is. You never trust God in the test. You ask God for great faith, but then he tests you. It's because of what you ask for that you have to understand something. A testimony is produced from a test. The first word of testimony is test. In order to be able to witness about him, you have to experience him for yourself. That's why you, he gave you cancer, not to kill you, but to give you radical faith and a crazy testimony. That's why he's allowing you to go through what you're going through. Not because you've done anything wrong. It's because he trusts you. So the next time, the next time you go through something, do this. It's producing for me. The next time you got a storm, say it's producing for me. The next time, the next time you get bad news, say it's going to produce for me. It's going to produce radical faith. 
And so I want to help somebody today who came to today and said, Pastor, I've never seen a miracle. Here it is I want you to do. I want you to turn to your right. And I want you to turn to your left. I want you to turn to your right. And I want you to turn to your left. I want you to turn to your right. And I want you to turn to your left. Don't look at them like Deacon Mac. Because that's not Deacon Mac. That's a miracle. Don't look at First Lady like First Lady. That's a miracle. Don't look at Pastor Jay. Jay. But say, that's a miracle. Because every time I turn around, I see miracles. Every time I look at some people, I see miracles. You are in the presence of miracles. So know this. He can do anything but fail. And God is producing great faith. I said he's producing. I said he's producing. I said he's producing great faith. Can I ask you a question? Are you willing to go through the production process? Are you willing to allow God to use you? Are you willing to allow God to prune you? Are you willing to allow God to use you? Because if you let God use you, allow people to see an unusual and unexplainable miracle. Deacon Hall, just lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Because an unexplainable miracle is coming to the Hall household. Stay right there. Because I, I, I need to minister to, to all of us today. Just lift your hands. And I need you to believe God for an unexplainable miracle. This week, this week, this week, this week, this week, come on, I need you to say it this week. Come on, I need you to say it this week. Unexplainable miracle. This week, unexplainable miracle. Unexplainable miracle. Unexplainable breakthrough. Unexplainable deliverance. Unexplainable. It's going to be un unexplainable. It's going to be unexplainable. When people ask you, all you can say is, but God. <laughs> when people ask you, all you can say is, Jesus. Because here's what I want to let you know is you got to learn how to believe God in the midst of it all. Unexplainable miracles. Stay right there. Drive me. Unexplainable miracles. Sister Claire, Kenzie, can I talk to you? The Lord is challenging me, and he's challenged me in an area that he says, they got to see it first, and then when we start declaring major things, they won't be quiet. But they'll go already start praising God in advance. And so here it is. I'm letting you, I got, I got to talk to you because cause me and you. I don't know if they are ready for what God finna do in their life. Because God says I'm finna challenge them in an area. Because I finna grow their faith. To believe me to see things before they see it. Because we waiting on God to do it and move and we already late because he didn't already move. But God says in this season of Macedonia's life, I'm going to raise up some radical faith walkers 
some radical faith walkers. Come on, give it to me. Some radical faith walkers. Some radical people. Some radical people. Warren, some radical people. Some radical people. And this is why God has to do it. Because he says, you're on this play. And because you're on this play, I need people to know who I am. So because you're on this play, I need to produce radical so that you'll be able to represent me in a better way. Because some of you crying and don't know how you're going to make it. And everybody's saying, I don't know why I would serve a God who every time you're going through something, you always crying. But I want to serve a God who every time I'm going through something, I'm busting through these doors praising God because I'm looking and expecting a miracle. Oh, bye bye. I'm looking and expecting for Him to make a way. Hands lifted. I said, Matter today, if you didn't come back next week and I'll try it again. Hands lifted all over the place. Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray today that God, that everybody's faith level was increased. And that God, by them seeing the first miracle that your son performed, he didn't heal nobody. He didn't touch nobody. But he turned some water into some wine. That people, that these people will see, if he can turn water into wine, that he can turn my situation around and so father I pray today that your people will unlock the praise that's on the inside and will raise their expectations to believe you for more father in the name of Jesus do it now somebody came in with a situation that they couldn't deal with fix it now dispatch your angels to every household now Fix it now in the name of Jesus that you will raise some people that will be able to witness of your goodness and of your glory. God, touch now. Deliver now. Heal now. Set free now. Set free now. And God, that secret prayer that's being prayed right now answer it God answer it God there's people right now that are saying Lord why you bring me through this why is my womb barren but God speak to him and say it ain't barren I've just closed it for a season I've just closed it for a season cause when I'm ready to open it I gotta make sure the right people around you so that when I open it they'll believe in you Father, why am I sick? It's not the point of death. But I just want to heal you and use you. So God, use us as vessels. In Jesus' name we pray. Now God, let us praise you in advance. In Jesus' name. Amen. There might be somebody here. We can really let you go. There might be somebody here that has heard the word of God. That has heard the word of God and your heart is moved. There may be somebody who does it. First off, the first call will give you somebody who don't know Jesus as the part of your sins. And you want to receive him today. That's the first call. And then maybe somebody says, I know him. I trust him. But I need, a, I need a church. I need a pastor. I need a pastor. 
I need a church family. Listen, we're not a perfect church, but we serve a perfect God. There may be somebody online who may say, I need Jesus. Listen, what I want you to do, I want you right now in the chat to say, that's me. If you in the chat, because we got people in the chat, if that's you, just say, that's me. I want to join. I want to accept Jesus Christ. Say, that's me. But if that's you in the sanctuary, I just want you to stand to your feet. If that's what you say, if you want to answer one of the calls, you want to join today. Come on. Somebody ought to thank God. Come on. Somebody ought to thank God. Our counselors are coming now. Our first impression team is coming now. And he added to the church daily. Somebody say he added. Somebody say he's adding. adding. Amen. We thank God. And before they take you to the back, I want to say... uh, I am, I, I, we know, I know them. They, they are family. They like brother and sister. And so, you don't mind if I share the phone call, do you? He called me. He said, he said, Pastor, the Holy Spirit is leading me to follow you, my family to follow you. His daughter joined on last Sunday. She ain't wait for them. <laughs> She's like, hey, hey, I know what I'm going to do. He says, I, I'm being led by the Spirit of God to join with the ministry and to help. And so I thank God for people hearing from God and God sending help. Amen. And so uh, I'm grateful. I'm honored. I'm honored that y'all would trust enough that you believe the God in me and would trust God in me and would trust your soul with me. It's an honor. It's an honor when your people, when your family supports you. Amen. Y'all go with our, with our first impression team. Amen. Listen, I pray and hope that something was, was said to bless you. I pray and hope something was said to encourage you in this week. Listen, join me this Wednesday at 6 p.m. on Facebook Live for our, our Bible study where we are in a series, Just Be. And we, we are talking about what it means to be the light, what it means to be the love, what it means to be the change. So join me this week. I pray that you are blessed. Listen, I got one more thing before I let you go, because if I don't say this, I'm going to get in trouble. Um, there are boxes. There are 15 boxes of food in the social hall, chicken, hot dogs, vegetables, things that you need. And so if you have a need, please go over to the fellowship hall and get your box amen Amen. Amen. ain't nobody gonna tell you that you shouldn't get this box if you need a box go get that box amen amen Amen. Amen. I thank God for all of our teams that are serving in ministry amen can we thank God for them thank God for them all right listen let's stand all over our feet let's let's go into now unto him is able to keep you from falling and present you fallen before his presence with exceedingly great joy. To the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore. Let us all say amen. amen. Remember, just be. Be the light, be the love, and be the change. God bless you.